Um, you can listen to the phone calls, you can read text messages, you can read emails, you can even read um, encrypted messages sent via uh, um, WhatsApp or Signal or other um, chat programs. And you can also um, turn on the camera and the microphone without uh, the user of the phone noticing it. So it basically turns your phone into a spy in your pocket. If you've been asked, where have you been 17 days ago, your, your mind hardly can remember it, but your smartphone does. It's pretty scary. All you need to do is um, have your phone connected to the internet and then it can be infected without you noticing it. There, there will be a message sent to your phone and then your phone will be infected just like that. We found out that uh, the NSO group tried to sell it to uh, the German Federal Criminal Police. They were pretty amazed by the technology um, and they knew that it's a, such a powerful uh, tool that um, it can be used in various ways to monitor targets, even if they are far away. Um, but still, they're not allowed to use it. But in the end, uh, there's a problem with that tool because it's just too powerful. It is. Uh, it can do more than uh, it is allowed to do. And um, it's basically violating German law because it's uh, uh, monitoring everything uh, that's happening on a phone. You don't have to be in the country where an intelligence agency or a police has purchased that product to be targeted. You can be in a totally different country and this intelligence agency can target you. Um, so we need international um, agreements um, and, 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 and contracts about using digital weapons like this instrument, like, like Pegasus. We need a standard um, uh, for, for selling uh, those uh, very powerful tools and for using them. Otherwise, we will lose our understanding of freedom, of privacy, of intimacy, of uh, private secrets in the digital age. And this is something, if you think about it to the end, uh, nobody uh, uh, that is interested in, in freedom rights and in, in the freedom of speech, uh, nobody can uh, uh, agree on that. So we have to try to get this done. Um, we are very concerned. I mean, me personally, it's a, all the revelation that came up regarding this spy tool shows that there's basically, there's almost no way to protect your source. Once you're targeted uh, with a technology like this, these spy tools can endanger people around the world, not only journalists and human rights activists, also um, um, opposition uh, people, also people that are just involved in NGO work um, and yeah, these are dangerous weapons.